just had to check the office first. Thank you for calling. Please leave. Emergency. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm really sorry, Leonard. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's... <sighs> Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. Hello? Uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? Uh, I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and, and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. Uh, but, but the storm? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. I... I you, uh... Bye! Miss Wilson. When you said this... That's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh, Nicole, everything. Again. This would collapse in a few minutes. I'm not the first man. Uh, I have a 1986 Dodge. I won't stay. Uh, it's a dr maybe someone <laughs> uh, 
tall as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing. Or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was... Uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio's <sighs> open. Oh, this place. I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Ugh, fine. With the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look. I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. I haven't heard that name since I left. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. No. No keys. Get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk, Nicole? Yeah. It, it, it'll be fine. I'm stuck. Shit. Yeah? Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, just wanted to say, you got everything. I don't know. When I um, no, I didn't mean. Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I just. I'll call if I need you. Irving, it's me again, obviously, there, but I love that place. I think I even forgot how to get there. Never enough, Irving. I have trouble finding it. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean broth. <laughs> Starving.
Wait, what? Kids, and wait for old farting ghost to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well, that's long gone. How's it going? It looks real... complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Uh, I guess? What does the pressure gauge read? The sound of... oh. It should be more like 210 PSI. Pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> Thank spirit! Wake up! Huh? Nothing. Just talking to an old friend. Furnace is haunted. <laughs> Did you find a room you feel comfortable? He didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it. Exactly. How does that make you feel? They teach psych classes at FEMA. Well... No. I think I'll sleep just... just wanted to say, if I came across as obnoxious and I'm rambling... No, no, I... I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna... chill in my room? With... I wanted to thank... Um, listen... Listening, ...and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life, then. Night. Night. I was wide awake for... After a night of incomplete crossword... Go home? Because of... Probably tonight. Uh, you can't... I'm not ready for this. Deal. I could eat a horse right now. The baked beans will be scrumptious. Has it been since someone's inspected food poisoning? There'll be tons of bacteria and such.
But my bed was so comfy. Is the situation on the roads any better? Just, uh, give me a sec to get it together. Maybe I need some coffee. I didn't get any shut-eye last night, and... Wait. You didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something, and... But... I... You didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon, probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory, uh, what do you want to do? <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat. Deal! I could eat a horse right now. The baked beans will be scrumptious. Inspected, you need. Hmm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Uh, you'll see. There's no. food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge locked in. Oh, holy shit, I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah, I could have died in there. Uh-huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. I'm just gonna hole up in my room and cry, if that's okay with you. I can't as a swear word, and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel. Please, only call me if you've got good news. <laughs> 